Nice introduction speech, Johan. Um, talking about energy, right? What's energy about? And um, I want to share with you what's energy. I come from a very ancient culture that's called the Incas. And so through time, I have learned that energy is an everything. And with the energy allows you to understand who you are and the deepest level of what you want to express and communicate with the final determination to be able to create abundance in your life in every level. All right? So let's define abundance when it comes to <coughs> And according to my ancient people, abundance is the ability <coughs> to create to the level that you want to create to go to the next level. So let's define that a little more. Let's say you're going to be a mother for the first time. And when you get to be a mother for the first time, there's a lot of questions that come to you. How do I get to do this? I never had a child. How do I get to express and create with that child what I always wanted to be? You transfer energy from the child, from the mother to the child. So how do you get to create in that abundance? So my people understood that these are the ideas that came when we went through a transformation of initiation in life. And because of that, they study the energy in the cells. They look at the moon, they look at the stars, they look at the earth, and they look at the sun to understand how the protons, neutrons, and electrons will work to be able to create the abundance of what you're looking for. And for that, I am very thankful <coughs> because I carry the lineage of knowledge. So how do I work in every day in my life? Let me give you an example this morning. I get to be coached between 5, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock in the morning, and sometimes 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock while I'm sleeping, right? So the last couple of days, I have been very serious about taking my energy to the next level. How do I take my business to the next level? So because of energy in our ancestors, and this is what I believe, and this is who I am, we teach each other through dreams. So last night I had a dream. And in my dream, there was this amazing man I had the chance to meet five days ago. But he was coming in my dreams already for like two weeks, no longer than that. So he came here, and I was looking into Facebook, and they say, we have a, a, a share. A, how, do you how do you say that in English? Chef? It's, it's a boss, an Indian boss. Um, chief. Chief. There you go. Thank you. A, a black box that's coming from Dakota, and he's coming for uh, to be able to teach people what he's standing for. He is coming here to unite every nation, every ancient culture, to give their, give their songs, like songs, They're talking about a genetic makeup. They understood so well the formation, the communication between the, the cells that they created some space in that. And now he's in his way to Hawaii and he's here to be able to gather people. So I knew, I knew I needed to be there. So in my process of being there, I was told to give him a walk where I, I was creating the frequency of what people was about so he can be able to take that knowledge to Hawaii where he's going to meet with 112, uh, 112 leaders from another nations, to go to the United Nations to respect this knowledge that we have. So with that background, my dream was not really related to that. It was related to I wanted to know how I can take my business to the next level. And he was showing me that far away in his land, what he was doing, and his wife, and his tribes. And then, and then he said that he was going to build a house. And in this house that he was going to build, it was next to the house that I had been in my dreams for the longest time. And this house was flooded. There were water everywhere. It was this high of water. I'm just thinking, that's interesting. He's buying a house for his daughter, and now he's defining. My daughter is lazy, right? In your culture, being lazy is very expensive. And our culture is no be, uh, somebody who's lazy, somebody who doesn't want to go to the next level. So he, he's defining. My daughter, I'm accepting the fact my daughter is lazy. She doesn't want to live far away in the lands. So I, I just bought a house for her. And it's flooded, and I'm going to take the water. It's going to cost me only $500, and I'm going to create this machine. And once I show everybody how to drain the water from this house, then I can sell that machine. <coughs> and then I'm looking into my house while he's talking to me that was next to the house. I always wanted to buy, but I couldn't buy. 
and I was kind of going into my mind, criticizing that the people who bought the house was not taking care of the house. And then as soon as that, I woke up, and I heard this voice and says, that's what you need to know to create. You're spending too much time in the past saying what it did not work for you. What you need to focus is take a situation that's not working, like I did, and make it profit, make it happen. It was a flooded house. How many of you really can live in a house that is full of water? He managed to take that situation and make it an impossibility. So for half an hour, I'm spending this very time, and I'm so thankful that many people use and learn to use the energy in that way. And that we can communicate for the new technology that's coming. We can see already so many new technology coming to the world. Having these, these beautiful tools alive, and that's what we're doing as a community. We're bringing that back, and we'll be able to be able to protect our ancient knowledge. So thank you, everybody.